niaje watu wangu wa nguvu natumai mkopoa kama mkopoa pia mimi nikopoa tunashukuru au sio karibuni sana hapa ni kama wa tv i would like to request you to subscribe like share comment manze hapa we talk about positive vibes au sio asante ni sana manze it's been a while atujapatana nimewatupa ah lakini msijali tena i am back nimerudi na moto stories niko nazo ni moto na ni mingi so sit back relax itisha popcorn kasoke ka kisonga au sio leo nataka tuongelelee hii kiti inaitwa process they keep on telling us trust the process trust the process time yako ikifika mambo itajipa au sio so i want us to look behind tuangalie nyuma wale walioko mbele yetu walikapitia na wakafikia katika hatima yao au sio so wakati unatuambia trust the process here in between kuna mambo inaendeleanga the bible says i think in, in habak at like write your vision in tablets where by hata mtu anakimbia ataweza kuisoma na cheki even though it will tear yani hata kama itakaa itafika ama itafikiana so hapa kwa ku ita, ita, ingawaje itakaa hapo ndio kuna maneno sababu most of the people who are wanna give up wana wana let go na wanaachilia tu mambo inaisha hivyo so ladies and gentlemen bila kukula muda mwingi wenu <laughs> I want us to look at the story ya msimu mmoja kwa Bible ambaye story yake wakati niliisoma niliona enyewe hii process wanatuambia to trust the process but this one this one kuna vile the story of Mordecai most of us tunajua hii story ya, ya Mordecai Mordecai was a Hebrew alikuwa Myahudi walikuwa wametekwa nyala wakaenda katika nchi fulani and so Mordecai he was kule walikuwa wametekwa nyala alikuwa mse wa gate he was a gatesman and so kama unavyojua gatesmen or gates people more, more so they don't get the respect that they deserve kozo na kutanga mzee yeye tu ni kuingia kwa gate yeye afunguliwe yeye ingie ama atoke na bila atakushughulika sana na wase wanafungua gate i hope mnaelewa si ndio so modekai was that kind of a guy but he was a god fearing guy who was so determined to serve god no matter what na cheki hata kama kulikuja ma mafurakasha za kuambiwa sijui muinamia sijui mtu fulani mfanye nini sijui mfanye nini yeye alisema alisema sisi kwetu kwenye nimetoka sisi tuna tunaombanga Mungu aliye hai hatuinamilii watu ama michongo ama nini we believe in God in the living God and so the journey of this gentleman was not easy na ilifika place wakawa wanapangiwa kuwawa yeye na watu wale wengine wa ukoo yake au wa tribe yake ambao ni Hebrews Wayahudi walipangiwa kuwawa na jamani aliyekuwa mkuu wa serikali wakati ule alikuwa anaitwa Haman na hiyo kitu ikaweka ika, ika tubo joto katika eh, Mordecai na kikundi chake So ikafikia na mpaka wakati eh, nephew I think ni nis nis wake aliyekuwa anaitwa Esther na kwa njia nyingi nyingine hizo tunazozijua Esther alikuja akakuwa malkia or the queen to the king who was called Caesar in our language tunamuitanga Hasuerusu <laughs> So this this guy called Mordecai sorry for that This guy called Mordecai akiwa pale kwa gate alisikia wasee wakibonga two gentlemen tawaambia majina yake hivi majina ngumu za ki 
za huko to you next wakipanga waki njama vile watamaliza mfalme or the king the king to be particular was Caesar or Ahasuerusu <laughs> na Mordecai alikuwa na options either anaweza peana habari hii ameisikia kwa mfalme ili asiwawe ama achilie tu he could have said i'm just a gate man hata wakimua what do i gain or or lose i gain nothing or lose nothing but ali decide kupeana ile habari kwa mfalme haya na ikakutika ni ukweli kuna majama yako anapanga kuwa mfalme na wakashughulikiwa vile ilifaa but nothing na, no action was taken toward rewarding this gentleman called Mordecai aliachili watu hivyo mambo ikaisha hivyo watu watu kwambi wangu ni miaka ngapi hatuambi wangu ni muda inakaaje but life went on as usual kijana anafungua mlango pale akifunga akifungulia wageni wakiingia kwa ikulu akitoka nini nini vitu kama hizo but sunday or some night the king hasuerusu or caesar eh, he had trouble in sleeping eh alipotea usingizi usiku na alipopotea usingizi alita majama wake hapo wa karibu wa kumsaidia kazi hapa na pale akamuitisha kitabu cha kumbukumbu ili akaweze kusoma yale mambo yamefanyika katika ufalme wake nini nini naone zile vitu amefanyia wananchi wake kama mambo iko sawa ama iko sawa lakini kidogo kidogo akapeluza kitabu pale akaona kuna habari imeandikwa ya kwamba kuna jamaa aliyekuwa anaitwa Mordecai aliyekuwa m- pale kwa lango alifichulia sidi mfalme ya kwamba anapanga kuwa kuwawa eh hey, kidogo kidogo wakaita au majamaa eh hey, niaje kamu 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 huyu jamaa naona ameandikwa hapa Arsuel eh Mordecai naona kuna habari aliyotanga kwa ikulu ya kwamba anapanga kuwawa alifanywa nini alifanywa nini eh, boss eh, imagine hakuna kitu alifanywa mfanyikazi replied to the king so eh jamaa how ka mnaezaje huyu mtu anaweza mnaweza muachiliaje kwa ile kazi yote mzuri alifanya mnaweza muachiliaje aendelee atoke tu hivyo aende. Hmm? Anafaa shughulikiwe. Ni nani yako huko nje? Ni na e, mfalme akauliza, "Nani yako nje?" Ah, kimbie uangalie nani yako huko nje. <laughs> Kufika nje anakuta jamaa mwingine huko, anazurura zurura huko, amemaliza kutengeneza kimti kia kufanya eh, ha nani alikuwa anaitwa Haman, aende a, alikuwa ametengeneza kimti cha kufanya juu kuna huyo jamani ya dui yake wa karibu Mordecai alikuwa amepanga vile atamuua sasa sababu ameamuru kila mtu huko amuinamilie juu yeye ndio second to the king the most powerful anapanga vile sasa atauua ujamaa sasa ndiye anazurura amemaliza kutengeneza hiyo kimti kidogo kidogo amesikia wewe unaitwa na mfalme kuja 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 alipokuwa akiingia kwa mlango akasikia mfalme akimuuliza Haman yes sir nataka kuulizaje mtu ambaye mfalme anampenda na angetaka kumpatia heshima kwa wananchi anafaa fanywe nini deep inside Haman's heart and thoughts he thought huyu mtu ni nani mwingine ni huyu nani anaweza kuwa na peno ama amefurahisha mfalme isipokuwa ni mimi <laughs> hakuna mwingine so the guy ali decide kusema zile vitu kubwa kubwa eh? zile vitu kubwa kubwa for example if it in our days angesema huyu mtu mfalme anapenda apandishwe ile gari kubwa ya vio so na ile president anakaanga pale akienda kuselimia watu hivyo apandishwe hiyo gari avalishwe kaunda suit naona kama ile kaunda suit eh, mfalme excuse me our president our able president anava kaunda suit ni eh? avalishwe hiyo na kuwekwe high commissioner ama mtu mkubwa sana wa heshima afuate akisema 
huyu ndiye mfalme anayependa na amemheshimi amemheshimisha kwa watu akifikiria yeye ndiye ataambiwa hiyo mane ama atafanywa hiyo ma hiyo mambo <laughs> ole wake kidogo kidogo wanachukuana anamwambia so all these things that you have said itafanywa modekai what my number one enemy why ah he makosa but because he was the king he had to do everything that was supposed to do ladies and gentlemen hii kitu yote ilifanywa modekai akahasimishwa kwa watu just by one little thing that he did not expecting to be paid back but he did it deep from his heart knowing he was doing the right thing so in the process of trusting the process don't focus much on uh, on the reward you just do the right thing when the time comes or when the right time comes mambo itajipa au sio sasa mambo iligeuka yule mtu alikuwa anafikia yeye ndiye ataheshimishwa akawa yeye ndiye anaheshimishia na yani anapea na heshima yeye inafaa kwa yule mtu mwenye anafaa so guys my short story ends uh, inaishia hapa kuambia ya kwamba it's not easy but let's trust the, tr- the process and in the process of trusting the process to to sichoke kufanya the good things and the right things so that when the right ca- time comes mambo itakuwa fit na we will celebrate na god hata tuacha i believe i'm convinced deep inside my heart so thank you guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe share like and comment naitwa Kamawa Idera au Kamawa Kamawa TV International na wapenda sana na waenzi sana najua hii safari tutaenda mpaka ukingoni this is episode 1 episode 2 coming soon goodbye and thank you very much